So let's take a look at how we can convert this decimal, 0 0.3333, it's just repeating. How do we get this to a fraction? And there's a bit of a trick here to do this. So let's start by saying x, that's gonna equal 0 0.333 repeating. So that's the first step. What would be nice if we could get this to a whole number, or so we'd have a whole number here in it. And I could just multiply it by 10, that would give me 3.3. 3, 3, 3 repeating, but I have to do it to both sides. This is algebra, right? So 10 times x, that would be 10x. And here, 10 times 0 0.333 repeating would be 3.333, and that just keeps going on. It's a little bit better. Now we have a whole number here to work with at least. What I could do, what would be nice is if I could get rid of this part of our decimal here. So if I could get rid of that 0.333 repeating, then I'd have a whole number. Things would be looking good. Why don't I just subtract it? So I'm going to subtract 0 0.333 repeating, but I have to do it to both sides. And here's the trick, 0 0.333 dot dot dot, that equals x. So what I could do over here, let's move this over a little bit, I could just say 10x minus x, because x, that's equal to this number here. So these two things here, they're equal. Since it's algebra, I can do that. Now check it out. 10x minus x is 9x. That's kind of nice. And right here, this and this is the same. So when I subtract, I get 0. Now 9x equals 3. Divide both sides by 9 and you get 3 ninths. 3 goes into itself once and it goes into 9 3 times. So we can simplify that down to 1 third. So the decimal 0 0.333 repeating, that equals the fraction 1 third. So it's a little bit challenging. Maybe try to do it yourself and then watch this video again if you have problems. But that's how you do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.